Hi and welcome to our new comparison here between the Surface Pro X and the Surface Pro 7. I'm running this comparison between the Surface Pro X with 8 gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of SSD against the Surface Pro 7 with i5 CPU and 8 gigs of RAM and 128 uh, gigs SSD. And sometimes I will refer to the Surface Pro 6 with the same uh, specs, i5, 8 gigs of RAM and 128 SSD. Other than the fact that they share the same name, they also share quite a few things in appearance. First, the kickstand. They both have the same kickstand with the same flexibility. Also, they share the front-facing uh, Windows Hello camera and the USB-C input and Surface uh, Pro uh, charger input. And also, you can use it for the dock input. Also, the aspect ratio is the same, which is 3 to 2 with 267 PPI for both. Other than that, the Surface Pro X is a completely different device. It has thinner sides and bezels. It has no 3.5 mm audio input. It doesn't have uh, a USB type A, but it has instead uh, two USB type C inputs. There's no uh, SD card slot. And finally, there is a SIM card slot and an interchangeable SSD. These additions plus some other modifications made iFixit give this device a six out of 10 on the scale of uh, ease of repair while the Surface Pro 5 to 7 had 1 out of 10, which make them one of the worst repairable devices ever. The type cover has two options. Uh, the one that you see here in the video is similar to the original type uh, cover for the Surface Pro 5 and 6 and 7, but there's a signature one with a place or bay to host and charge the new flat pen. While the older pen can work with the Surface Pro X like mine here, the new one is smaller and has the wireless uh, charging benefit with no battery to change in the future. Some people will prefer replacing the battery, some people will prefer the new one, but uh, it's debatable. Here are the specs comparison between the two devices. As you see, the internal parts are completely different since the Pro X is built on ARM technology and even the version of Windows here is not the same as the x86 version inside the Pro 7. SQ1 chip is developed by Microsoft and Qualcomm and it's based on a mobile chipset which gives the same performance with much less power up to one third of the 8th gen Intel i5 uh, CPU. The Surface Pro 7 comes with different CPUs while the Surface Pro X has the same one. While RAM differs in the Surface Pro 7 between 4, 8 and 16, uh, the Surface Pro X has only 8 or 16 gigabytes of RAM. The storage on the Surface Pro 7 comes with 128 to 56 up to 1 terabyte, while the Surface Pro X there's no 1 terabyte. The screen size is 12.3 inches in the Surface Pro 7 while it's 13 inches in the Surface Pro X. The graphics GPU is the Intel Iris Plus for the i5 model that we're talking about here while it's the, the Adreno 685 for the Surface Pro X. LTE connectivity is only available on the Surface Pro X and there's no LTE compatibility with the Surface Pro 7. And the Surface Pro X has the eSIM if you wanna use uh, no SIM on the device. Surface Pro 7 comes with Wi-Fi 6 while the Pro uh, X is only Wi-Fi 5. The front facing camera on the Surface Pro 7 is 5 and the rear one is 8 megapixels, but uh, on the Surface Pro X, it's uh, 5 megapixels for the front-facing camera and 10 megapixels for the rear-facing camera. 
The battery on the Surface Pro 7 is supposed to live up to 10.5 hours, while on the Surface Pro X is up to 13 hours. The Surface Pro X comes only with one color matte black, while the Surface Pro 7 comes with platinum or matte black. Now let's talk about performance and some benchmarks. I could run the Geekbench 4.3, but other benchmarks like PCMark and 3DMark didn't work here. So these results are only for the Geekbench between these two devices. And also Geekbench couldn't recognize the GPU for the new device. If you look at the chart here, you find that the Surface Pro X is a little bit better than the Surface Pro 6. And this supports the results that Qualcomm did when they uh, provided the 8CX CPU. And they said it's better than the i5 and uh, the i5 that they compared to was the 8th gen. But if you look also at the chart, you find the Surface Pro X is way less than the Surface Pro 7. Now let's do our own benchmarks. First, let's do some video compression on AVC, uh, which works on both devices. The results show that the Surface Pro 7 is 158% faster than the Pro X. While in the file copy test, the results are much better in the Surface Pro X than the Surface Pro 7 with 174% increase in the Surface Pro X. Internet speed is almost the same in both devices and also real-time 3D rendering looks the same using the same app on both devices. Of course, games are better on the Surface Pro 7 with its uh, 10th gen i5 CPU and Intel Iris Plus GPU. Now let's try uh, to open some popular apps on the Surface Pro X. In general, 32-bit apps uh, should work, but uh, the 64-bit apps may not work unless they are optimized for the new ARM CPU. Microsoft Office works just like any other device on or any other Surface. Uh, it's the full version not mobile version as the one that runs on Android tablets or phones or even the iPads, including the iPad Pro. So Microsoft Office experience is very similar to your laptop or desktop with the benefits of the Surface Pen and Dial. Web browsers are compatible with the new Surface since they have 32-bit versions. Even the beta version of the Edge with Chromium Core works just fine. Windows Store apps uh, work in most cases, as you can see here. I tried Photoshop Express, Polar, and uh, Sculpt 3D, and some other games too, and all work just fine. There are some games that doesn't work here, and maybe it will be optimized through time. Even though you can install Steam on the Pro X, most games and programs don't work on the Surface Pro X yet. The good news is there are many apps that can work here, including the famous Photoshop, but the bad news these apps are only 32-bit versions. Adobe promised to make these apps uh, available for the new device, but this will take some time. And meanwhile, 
you may have some problems with these available apps. Meanwhile, these apps uh, work much better on the Surface Pro 7 and even on the Surface Pro 6. But the Surface Pro X still can run a full version of Photoshop 2018, not like the skimmed version on the iPad, which was released recently. Finally, this device is made for mobility, so if you don't need these advanced Windows programs and features, you can use the Surface Pro X without any issues. Software updates and bug fixes are always available from Microsoft, just like any other Windows 10 device. Battery life is much better than the Surface Pro family, including the 7th gen and the previous ones. I would say that the only device I tried from the Surface family and has better battery life than the Surface Pro X was the Surface Go. But the Surface Pro X is much better in performance than the Surface Go. And even it runs more programs than the Surface Go. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel and give it a thumbs up and activate the notifications so you don't miss anything. Take care and until the next video, be safe.